John Howell. Thank you, Sir David, and it's a great pleasure to serve under your chairmanship. I'd like to start off by congratulating my, my honourable friend from Stoke-on-Trent South uh, for bringing this, this debate uh, and, and for particularly bringing into, into the open air uh, the examples of town centre heritage action zones that, um, that, that, that he has mentioned. He, of course, concentrated on heritage-led regeneration, and, and I think that's quite right for, for him to, to, to take that per position. But he also concentrated on using buildings to their greatest effect. And he stressed the importance um, to, 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 to bring buildings back into use uh, as, as, he, as you go through the process of improving uh, town centres. And the starting point uh, for, for me on this is, is how all of this can help to show that we can breathe new life into the, into the high streets of our, our towns uh, and, and how we can help to regenerate the shopping um, experience that people have, the eating experience that, that, that people have, uh, and just the experience of, of enjoying a good uh, circumstance uh, in, in which to, 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 to take a stroll, uh, to, to enjoy um, their, their sport or, or whatever. And, and I look at this wearing two hats. I look at this, first of all, wearing the hat of an archaeologist, which I, I was until, um, I, until a bit before I came uh, into this house. And I, I also uh, look at this wearing the hat of a, a planning expert. I use the term expert uh, loosely. It's a term that's, uh, that's applied to me rather than one that I uh, apply uh, myself. And if I can just take the archaeological things uh, first of all, um, I think that we need to stress that people are genuinely interested in the archaeology and the history of the place in which they live. And if you, if you ask someone uh, in, in one of the towns, uh, the two towns in, in my own constituency, uh, what, they, what, what their impression of the town is, uh, they, will, they will always bring up some moment of history in describing how the town has, ha, has gone about it. And, and of the two towns in my own constituency, I think that neither of them have, um, ha, have become town centre heritage action zones. Maybe the minister will, will correct me if I'm wrong on, on that, but I think neither Henley nor Tame have uh, come into, into that category. And I know that he doesn't wish for us all to use this as an opportunity to lobby him to include our own towns oh, within that. Shame. But, um, but, let, but let, me, let, me not, <laughs> let, let me not disappoint my colleagues <laughs> by, 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 uh, by, by staying away from, uh, for, from that. And I, would, I don't actually mind uh, which one or both that uh, the, 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 the minister chooses, um, but it would be nice to have, ha have one uh, in them. And, and if I can stay on the archaeology for just, just for, for, for a bit, uh, we have a development in the centre of Henley, just off the Market Square, that has had to have archaeological excavation before the buildings are put up. And uh, that has revealed a fascinating pattern from the 12th and 13th century that has shown how the town developed, but not how it developed in an, uh, an ad hoc way, how it developed on a medieval plan in a very focused way. The medieval planners were, were, were obviously very good at, um, at setting out, uh, out the town there. And it would be really nice to believe that in encouraging people to use the town centre and to, to use that and to use the heritage there, that some way could be found to include that uh, within the, the, the developments that are going to go up uh, on that site rather than just in the name of the street or, or, or changing the name uh, of, uh, of that particular part uh, of the town. So I do think that that is an important uh, element to, um, to, to, to bear in mind. And I would, um, since invitations are being given out to the minister, I would urge him to come and see it for himself. And to, uh, and, and to hopefully put that forward uh, as, a, uh, as, a, as one of the next towns in the Heritage Action Zone list. But I said I approached this wearing two hats. And the, the other hat in which I approached this is as a, a, a planner and as somebody who was very much involved with the government 
in producing the MPPF uh, for but, but in its original form and also for commenting it in, on it in, in the second. Uh, and I, I wonder whether the Minister would, uh, would, would, would take my advice that this needs to be looked at uh, again when we come uh, to, to look at it again. Now, we do, not, we do not judge planning applications in this House. That is the function of the local district council. But I have to say that when I go round the country in my role as, um, a, as a government champion for neighbourhood planning, I'm absolutely astonished at the appalling glass and concrete and steel buildings that have gone up in our town centres. Now, I do not want our town centres simply to become pastiches of what they were at a set point. But I do think it is very important that we, we stress that there is good design from the 18th, the 19th, and indeed the 20th centuries uh, that help to shape that town and to give credibility uh, to the status of that town centre as a heritage uh, lo location. Uh, and so, you know, I, would, I, I, I really would stress to him that, that when he looks at that heritage action zone, he ought to, he ought to include uh, buildings that were built uh, in, in that time. Now, none of this on its own is going to overcome the, 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 the issues that have been raised by the internet. None of it is going to overcome the, uh, the, the habitual appearance of nothing but charity shops on our high streets, except in the, case of, uh, in the case of Henley, where they are matched by the number of coffee shops uh, the, the, that are there. You can always get a decent cup of coffee uh, in, in Henley, but they will go a long way to helping to, to, to overcome some of those issues. They will go a long way to talking about the pride of the place, of making the heritage part of that town for the future. And, 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 and for that reason, I would certainly urge the Minister to look very carefully at those issues when he comes to the next uh, list of heritage zone areas uh, that he is going to bring into force, or rather that English Heritage, uh, uh, Heritage England, sorry, um, I'm falling back into old money, um, is, going to, um, is going to bring into force when it comes to think of it next. Thank you.